In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a floating bench seat in a shower. Okay, so then I have a floating bench seat here, and the finished height is going to be at 17 and a quarter, which is right here. But this is actually that's that's the tile there. So from there, it's actually less than 17 and a half. Huh? It's around 17. So if I put it over here where the feet actually are, because this slopes down around here, you'll see that it's actually over here. I don't know if you could see it on the laser. 17 and a half. So that's ready to be the top of the the top of the, the seat. So the thickness of the seat is an inch and a quarter. I'll come down an inch and a quarter. And the thickness of the curling board. So that's two inches down from that. This here is the curly board, and this here is the stone. So that's the top. So that's the seat, which is 16. So, seat 16. So if this is the first time you've seen my videos, my name is Sal de Blasi, a tile contractor in the Boston area. Been installing tile for over 35 years. My channel has over 780 videos, pretty much all to do with tile. Anything you need to know about tile, you can probably find it on my on my channel. So I've left some links in the description to some tools and my Amazon is on store. And also uh, to my Patreon page, if you can support me there, that'd be fantastic. Uh, so anyway, uh, leave your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell new video every Saturday morning. Okay, so this is a two inch curly board. So, the seat is 16. I'm going to bring this out to Thirteen and a half. We'll see how that works. Thirteen and a half. Right there. Now you can cut this with a circular saw or a jigsaw or just a I will hold so.
we've got that cut. We'll trim it a little bit and see how it fits. Okay, so got to fit. So I just just use this to get it to fit perfectly well. Now. So. Slight tilt this way. Okay, so let me put the seat on top of this curdy board. This seat is 16 inches. This is inches. So this is here is at 16 inches. And when we put it in, you can't see. You have to go like way down here to be able to see that. So it'll look like it's it's floating right across that, but it'll be supported by the two-inch curdy board. I'm gonna put a line underneath. So this is Cody Fix.
Okay, so these screws serve no other purpose than just to hold it in place while it dries. So that's exactly where I want it to be. Perfect. So I'll be putting curly band on here afterwards. Okay, so this is the next day. I tested the stone to make sure that it fits. Now I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna install a stainless steel U-channel on the front edge to stiffen up that edge. So this bench seat is about 36 inches long. So I'm not putting any support, additional support underneath. Uh, if it had been uh, longer, say like four feet, I probably would have put like a support underneath I'll, I'll show you a picture of that to you know just give it some extra rigidity so seeing how this is three feet and then once the tile gets all installed all around it it's going to be completely locked in uh, I'm not going to do any additional support other than the U channel on the front which stiffens that front edge
Okay, so I'm going to install this Cody band around the U channel, uh, all the way around. It's not really to waterproof anything, it's just to give the tiles a little better uh, surface to adhere to rather than just the stainless steel. And I'm going to also do it around the perimeter. Um, remember, this shower was already completely sealed up before I put this bench seat in. I put in a few screws and then I covered those with Cody Fix so it's still all completely waterproof but you know just out of an, uh, an abundance of uh, caution I am gonna put the Cody band all around the perimeter as well. Okay, so I'm gonna spread some thin set on both the surface of this um, support and on the stone of the bench seat, and then I'm gonna install it. Now, the battery died just as I was getting ready to spread the thin set on the stone, uh, so I'm gonna use the footage from another video with just a regular bench seat to show how I installed that on here. Um, same process. Okay, so level this way, tilt it that way, good as gold. Now you, you want to also make sure you're going to get some squeeze through here. You want to make sure you clean that up so it doesn't get hard under this. Yeah, this is all squeezing through. You want to make sure you clean that up. Yeah, so that's the Bench seat in. I still got a tile under there. Got a tile of this wall. But I guess the little ceiling, but the rest of this is pretty much done. And so I don't tell you. Just to show how strong it is. No problem. 